So as I mentioned at the very start of our process, we did an assessment. Um, we, I, I am quite interested and committed to doing assessments on an ongoing basis. Um, I, think, I think really the only way to assess if you, you are truly uh, shifting um, how people think about these things, uh, how they act, what their practices are, is to do assessments every couple of years. Um, in my dream, I would do uh, the exact same assessment we did in 2014 um, and recreate that now. It was such a comprehensive assessment that it's quite expensive. We just can't afford to do that. So we just did a little mini assessment. Um, and we actually did it with different consultants. And I think that's actually interesting too. So Angela designed our original assessment. We had another set of consultants just in the past six to 12 months come in and do another mini assessment. I think getting a fresh set of eyes is helpful. Um, and that mini assessment was, you know, it wasn't all staff survey, it was conversations with folks to get a sense of what's going on in this organization right now across race. And um, how does it feel as a person of color to be at this organization? Um, and how is the work feeling in terms of really, really centering race, elevating race, being a race forward organization? So um, the assessments, I, I think, are, are really, really important. And making sure you, you're doing it at the right time, have the right people doing the assessments, asking the right questions. Um, is key. So, you know, just, and I think that is generally an orientation towards um, self, what's the right word, self criticism or, or just self analysis, like always, always looking at yourself and reflecting on how you're doing as an organization um, feels quite critical to answer that question. Um, in addition to that, we do look at hard data, right? So, in, ter in terms of looking at um, the composition of the organization, the racial composition of the organization, as well as um, the experience moving up in the organization. So every month we look at analytics around that. Um, so that's just hard data that we're always looking at. And data matters. Data matters a lot <laughs> um, around these issues. So we have access to that as well. So, you know, one thing that's, that's on my, my mind quite a bit is, um, you know, at Demos, when we started this journey in 2014, um, our, the composition of our staff, the demographics of our staff, we were 73% white, 27% staff of color. Um, we are now a very different racial composition. We are 60% staff of color, 40% white. Um, I will say that uh, our white, and I started with this earlier, our white staff um, have a whole lot of ongoing skill building to do, me included, as, as a white staff member, as a white leader at the organization. And um, what I'm thinking a lot about is, you know, how do we prevent ourselves, or can we prevent ourselves from falling into this trap of, because of that reality, because of our white staff having a whole lot of skill building and learning to do, how do you prevent yourself from continuing to dump resources <laughs> Um, into this group who historically have had more resources dumped into them than um, folks of color. And it's something that I think a lot about and it's something that I don't have an answer to. And I would, I'm eager to engage with other organizations around this um, because it is true that that body of staff uh, has more work to do and that some of the investment is more costly. Um, it's also true that our staff of color are dealing with trauma every single day of living in this nation. and. Um, have if there's, there's spaces and experiences and conversations and um, you know just investments around that for our staff of color that we should also be investing in. Can are those things? Are, is there equity around those two things? And if there isn't, what does that mean? So it's just a, an area of inquiry that I'm I'm wanting to explore more with other organizations. I don't have an answer to, and that. When we were a majority person of color, uh, white staff, excuse me, early in our journey, um, we were speaking to and transforming a larger body of staff who was white. Now it's shifted. So just thinking about those issues. Another thing I do want to say that's somewhat separate but coming to mind right now is, and we talk about this very briefly in the report, but I'd love to talk about it more, is we um, originally, uh, as I say in the report, really centered the management for this work at the very high levels in the organization, right? So um, I spent, as we know, a whole lot of time on this, as did our president, Heather McGee, um, as did the executive team, so much time, energy, and effort. Um, that's now entirely shifted. So we've decided, now our organization is at a point 
um, where it's appropriate and totally the right time to shift that. So now we have a body of staff. They're called the Equity and Inclusion Advancement Team. This is a body of staff whose responsibility is to lead this work for the organization. So they meet every month. Um, they represent staff from throughout the organization, from all levels of the organization. We have executive team staff on there. We have staff at more junior levels on that team. And they are now the ones developing the learning plans, developing the interventions, um, managing that mini assessment that I mentioned. Um, this has now been very much decentralized. Um, and that's wonderful and amazing. It means that there's more um, kind of shared ownership over moving this work. Um, it means that it's a more diverse body of, of people who are moving this work and developing this work. Our executive team at the time was predominantly white, as reflective of the organization. It's not anymore. Um, but this team is multiracial. Um, it's also cross-gender. It's just diverse among a, a many, many different, different identities. Um, so that's been a real shift over the past year and a half. Um, and I think it was appropriate to house it at the very um, senior levels of the organization in its early phases that allowed it to, to really move and showed that it was a priority for the organization and showed um, that we were intending to transform the organization. Now that we're a different organization, uh, this body has been remarkable and astounding and just so beautiful and wonderful in being able to move this work forward.